the deaf haven't seen themselves as part of the disability groups. But as the disability movement has grown stronger, the deaf have seen the advantage in joining the movement in order to have more strength in unity. And also it's, it's important for the rest of the disability movement to learn about sign language and, and deaf people and their rights. One of the very important human rights is linguistic rights. If we do not have linguistic rights, uh, we don't, for instance, have the right to education in our own language, we don't have the right to access information in our language, and that way we cannot communicate. It's very, very, a very strong new tool for sign languages to be recognized, for strengthening linguistic rights, and this is for us the first document in history, international document in history, that recognizes the existence of sign languages. And so it's very, very powerful. It's more powerful than anything we've seen before. Uh, for the World Federation of the Deaf, and for us it's a matter of, of trying to start thinking of how we can start educating the deaf themselves in using the convention. And of course as well educate the different governments as to what are sign languages, what are linguistic rights in the view of deaf people, so we have to educate them as well.